Oh, hello. Good morning. I just got to the gym. Gonna get my cardio done and out the way because it's supposed to rain for the rest of the day and I don't like to be out on the streets when it's raining. So I'm just gonna work out. Might try to take you guys in a little bit with me. I'm just doing cardio. I feel like I have so much to share with you guys this week. So I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Um, like through vlogs or sit down videos. I wanna do more Instagram lives. That is a promise to you guys. So we'll see we're gonna figure out how we're gonna share it all but i just feel like i have so much to say this week and i i gotta figure out how to deliver for you guys in the best possible way that you guys will enjoy so we'll figure that out groceries so let's go put those away now and I'm gonna go work out and I'm just very proud of myself for getting out the house before 9 a.m. And two, I have a very special guest coming over to the house later and I just, I couldn't be happier. I feel so grateful for my life. Guys, I'm a new mom. Oh yeah. This is my child that I, I just adopted yeah. my little boy Noah. Noah, yes. Noah, I'm your new mom. Oh, you're so <laughs> You were given up for adoption. <laughs> Nadia has surrendered her rights oh, yeah. as a parent. Yes. Oh, by the way, Jen is here. I just want to get my nails done from Doing our nails. Hi. Come here. Go. So that was my special guest. But yeah, um, Nadia lies a lot to me. Like, she would always say it's so hard. I know it's difficult. And he's a little angel, right? He's like, the camera again. Oh, no. I can't the puppy. The puppy? We, he, he went on timeout. Yeah, puppy's on timeout. He's on timeout because he didn't behave. Uh, yeah. <laughs> puppy timeout. Yeah. Yeah, because he's a bad boy. You see that? Who's that? What is that? What do you hear? It's a puppy. Yeah. It's a puppy. Yeah. Look. They're watching you. Look. Do you want more water? Yeah. Here. Nope. No, no more water? Yeah. What is this called? Brownie. Yeah. Cookie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cookie? Yeah. And he has a mom. Yeah. Here. You can take one, and I'm going to take one. Because might as well. 
Mmm. So good. Right? I'm the best mom, guys. Brownies for everyone. Brownies for all the kids. Yeah? Okay. Alright guys, Jen is about to do my nails, so say goodbye to these atrocious nails. They won't focus, so you can't really see how bad they are. They're like super streaky and bumpy, but she's about to do a mark on my nails. beautiful this shape is my camera won't focus but i'll show you guys later look at that perfect nails again i feel like my camera doesn't want to focus on my nails ever but such a big difference oh my god i love jen so much i'll leave her info down below if you guys want to follow her on instagram i don't know if jen is going to be opening up uh like seeing clients all over the place how she came to me so i would just follow her on instagram see what she posts you can reach out to her yourself because you know it's her business like i don't know what she's doing with her business i just know that she was <laughs> i was lucky enough that she was able to come to my house and i feel so grateful because my nails are looking a hot mess i was so embarrassed last week when i had my meetings back to back because my nails look so atrocious and like I literally kept hiding them like this. Like if I if I was standing at a table or whatever, not standing on a table, but whenever I would just be standing around and looking at stuff, like I, I always did this to my hands, like just trying to hide them because they were so ugly. So yeah, I just I honestly feel I know it's so crazy to be grateful for nails, but I honestly feel really grateful for my nails and for Jen for saving them because I those last two nail salons that I went to. My goodness, they like did a half-ass job. It was very poorly done. Today, I uploaded my what I eat in a day video for a slim thick body. So I showed you what like some healthy options for breakfast and what I had for lunch and dinner, which was the same thing. They were pretty healthy options in my opinion. But today, my friends, today we're not gonna be healthy. The whole day. Today we're gonna have something. We're gonna have the thick to the slim thick because my, my video, <laughs> I made myself laugh. My video, um, my vi <laughs> I can't talk. My video was what I eat in a day for a slim thick body. So I showed you the slim part and right now I'm gonna show you what makes the thick part. <laughs> so if you got the slim part down on your diet and you wanna add a little thickness to it. Mm, fries. I love fries. Maxi is right behind my camera. I don't want him to push it over because <laughs> I don't want to have to hold it. I just wanted to really just come here, sit down and chat with you guys because, you know, we're friends. I feel like we're all just friends. We're girlfriends. 
we talk about everything on my channel we talk about beauty and makeup skincare style which is the fun stuff but then we also add we also sprinkle a little a little fitness here and there because you know i'm trying to be i'm trying to be a little fit um and other things about life so i just wanted to talk a little bit more about i don't know what to call it like my fitness journey i feel like it's not really a fitness journey i just wanted to change my lifestyle because i was always the type of person that i would work out for a couple months and then i would stop the whole winter and fall out of shape again and just go into a slump and then i would pick it back up again spring summer and i didn't want to be like that i want to be the type of person that just continuously works out all year round because it has to be a lifestyle change and everyone always says that and i'm sure you have the best intentions when you want to do a lifestyle change as i did i had the best intentions like i really every time i restarted i wanted to keep doing it but things happen we make excuses i am the queen of excuses when it comes to working out and eating healthy but i'm i have to say i'm really proud of myself because i've stuck with it and i work out every single week and it feels great and for me it's changed because I feel like before I used to do it when I wanted to lose weight. Like, oh, I want to lose weight now, so let me start working out. And now I do it because it makes me feel good. It helps with my stress. It helps with anxiety. Um, it helps maintain my weight. Like, it just, it feels so good. And that's why I continue to do it every single week. Like, you just have to make the time for it. And you have to find what works for you because what I do might be super boring for you like there's some people that love dance workouts some people love spin classes some people love yoga and pilates like find what works for you and the only way you're going to find that is by trying different classes i've tried a lot of different classes and it's helped me decide what types of workouts i love the best start moving your body and work your way up to more difficult workouts so hopefully this serves as some motivation for you guys if you're trying to like work up the motivation to start working out just go and do it start walking every day then you can go and do the treadmill if you want you can do the elliptical try a class do yoga it's really good for stretching of the body and stuff like that and take it from there all right i think i have talked your ear off enough so i love you guys i'm gonna end the vlog here and i'll just see you tomorrow bye Mwah.